Hello, my name is Sam Atkins. I'm representing Greenbelt, Maryland, and I will be performing an original speech called The Virus of Television. Every day, my little sister comes home from school and tells about her day. It's always the same. Some fun activity in science class, or how she finally got a green for good behavior. But she hurries toward her favorite part of the day, gossip about her friends, or what dances and moves they picked up from each other, stuff you don't want you to see your kids do. <laughs> Gross. And she's only in third grade. Where did she get that stuff? So finally, she settles into her homework, but not without a few complaints and an occasional battle with her parents. It seems she rushes through her homework to get to the TV. Then it hits me. I see where these kids get that stuff. Right in front of my eyes, my sister's watching MTV, or music videos, which contain a lot of age-inappropriate content. She tries to change the channel, and it switches to a young show about um, young kids, a show about young kids with girlfriends and boyfriends. Whoops. She, she eventually finds a good show, but I hear MTV on as I walk away. Let me make it clear. My parents are well aware of the problem of kids being exposed to inappropriate content on television, as well as the internet and the negative effects of too much TV. And they know how to control our television watching. It involves the word no. But what about other families, like the families of my sister's friends? Have you ever heard the saying, monkey see, monkey do? Children repeat what they see and hear. They're greatly influenced by, by the things they're exposed to. And furthermore, they are influenced by what their friends are watching on TV. So when they go to school, they share all that they've seen and heard on TV, and their friends share all that they've seen and heard. And then, to make matters worse, they go home and share with their younger siblings and neighborhood friends, who also spread the information to their friends and families. It's like a virus, from child to child, house household to household. It could be in your home, too. <laughs> Nowadays, kindergartners are crying about breaking up with their boyfriends and girlfriends. When I was in kindergarten, I cried about missing the morning cartoons. <laughs> what do experts say are the dangers of inappropriate TV? The Academy of American Pediatrics says too much TV can interfere with physical activity, reading, homework, playing with friends, and family time. Their research says that children who watch too much TV are more likely to be overweight. Kids who watch violent acts on TV are more likely to show aggressive behavior and kids imitate the behaviors of kids of TV characters' inappropriate behavior in language, as in my sister's case. So how can we cure, or at least fight, this virus? The Campaign for America's Kids suggests that parents watch TV as a family, choose shows that fit the age of, the, of their children, limit the amount of TV kids watch, and turn off the TV during family meals and homework time. The good news is since 2000, the FCC has required that most TVs have a V-chip, it's called, that blocks programming they don't want ch their children to watch. Also, parental controls are easy to access or use. All cable networks have them. There are tons of apps, too. There are even TV management devices to control what and how much time children spend watching TV. Every parent has an obligation to take responsibility and prevent the virus from spreading. So here's to more family time, better health, and well-being. Thank you. <laughs>